Suppose you have a $180 gift card for gas. You spend on average $16 per week for gas. We're asked about a function to model this situation where W is the number of weeks and G of W is the value in dollars remaining on the card. Because the change in the value is constant per week, we can model this using a linear equation or linear function. More often, a linear function is in the form of f of x equals mx plus b, or f of x equals b plus mx, where m is the slope, which is the constant rate of change, and b is the vertical intercept, which is also the initial or starting amount. In our case, though, because we have a function g of w, the linear function would be in the form of g of w equals mw plus b, if we want g of w equals b plus mw. And because the starting value of the gift card is $180, we know b, the initial amount or starting value, is $180. And then m, the slope, which in this case is equal to the change in the value divided by the change in the number of weeks, would be equal to negative $16 per week Again, because on average, you're spending $16 per week for gas. So the value is decreasing by $16 per week. So M is equal to negative $16 per week. Which means a linear function can be written as G of W equals negative 16W plus 180 or g of w equals 180 minus 16 w. And it probably makes a little bit more sense to write the function g of w in this form here, where the value of the card is equal to $180 minus $16 per week times the number of weeks. So let's enter g of w equals 180 minus 16 w. And for the second part, we're asked to evaluate g of six so to determine g of 6, we'll substitute 6 for the input variable w. Simplifying on the right side, we get 180 minus 96, which equals 84. So g of 6 equals 84. But let's write a sentence to explain the meaning of this function value. g of 6 equals 84 is telling us that after 6 weeks, the remaining value on the card is $84. I hope you found this helpful.